Simple garden makeover tips for sellers. In this video, I look at ways to smarten up your garden to boost its appeal when thinking of selling your home. One of the most significant property trends to emerge from lockdown is the growing importance of outdoor space to buyers. Industry insiders report that post lockdown, an increasing number of people are looking for homes with a garden or at least access to communal spaces. This anecdotal evidence is backed up by Rightmove, which says searches for homes with gardens increased by 42% in May. With buyers' priorities shifting, we advise sellers to invest a little time and effort to get gardens, roof terraces and balconies looking their best. You don't need to be Monty Don or Carol Klein, but you do need to get the basics right. A little bit of TLC will push up the asking price and speed up the sale. Here are some tips. If your garden looks more like a junkyard than a backyard, you are missing a trick. Cut the grass, blitz the weeds and trim back overgrown bushes and hedges. This will make the space look bigger and brighter. Next, repair any broken or damaged fences. This is a must, especially if you are marketing a family home. Parents will want to know their little ones can't wander off. Pet owners will want to ensure that their beloved pooch stays put. Next, if you have swings or a trampoline in good condition, it's okay to leave them in situ, provided they don't crowd the space, but anything that is faded or broken must go. Footballs, sand pits and scooters need to be stored away too. Next up, a lick of paint goes a long way. Add a splash of colour to sheds, decking and fences. And don't forget, ditch the clutter. Don't take it personally, but people won't be impressed by your collection of power tools and your assortment of garden gnomes, as much as I like garden gnomes. And don't even get us started on caravans. These need to go into storage when selling, or at least driven around the corner for viewings. Once you've cleared the space, consider adding a few blooms or hanging baskets. When it comes to identifying where to place them, put yourself in the shoes of a viewer. Buyers will get their first glimpse of the garden when they are inside looking out through a window. Identify these key vocal points and place your plants there for a maximum impact. Dress to impress. If you have a separate office or studio space, make sure it's presented as such. Often people cram offices with bikes, tools and boxes. You want potential buyers who may work from home to be able to walk around inside and envision themselves working in there. If your office has electricity and broadband, shout about it. Make sure it's in the descriptions at least. Don't forget the property front gardens. Even if your front of your property has a small amount of space, invest in a few pot plants to make it look welcoming. First impressions are hugely important. And finally, word on bins and laundry. It's a pet peeve of ours when marketing photos feature bins, even well, even if they have them or don't need to see them, and laundry drying on the line. A good agent knows the deal, deal is in the detail and would want to ensure they are not featured in any photos. If you'd like any more advice on how best to present your home, contact me or anyone of my team here at Oliver James. We'd love to help make your next move. Catch you again, and I'll see you on the next one.